Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a psychic tarot reading for you, tuning in to the day's energy, seeing what divine messages of guidance come through. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. All right. In the past, we've got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone who doesn't have this this energy feels very insecure a lack of stability a lack of resources feels like there's a lot of worry around this person's energy i don't have resources I don't have abundance. There's not enough here. Feels like your energy that I'm tuning into. It looks like a point in the past where you're very stuck nothing's moving um and there's this i don't have the resources i don't have abundance i don't have feels like a a stuck spot and and there's a, a lack of stability security there's a lack of resources here but it looks like during this time you're having an awakening to a new way of being so it feels like despite the uh, lack of resources the instability lack of security lack of movement it feels like you're waking up so it feels like things have stopped in the 3d in your environment slowed down and so nothing is happening nothing's working in your environment so it feels like there's an internal waking up an inside from inside as you're waking up you're th seeing things differently and it looks like you start standing your ground you start creating healthy boundaries for yourself you're definitely seeing things it feels like you're investigating in a very powerful way why why do i have this instability this insecurity a lack of abundance why are things so stuck why do i not have the resources feels like a, a powerful question and it the answer came from inside this is too small of a place this isn't the right place you're if you were a plant you're in a pot that's way too small that you've outgrown there's there's no nutrients it's too small of a space for you you're in the wrong place <laughs> i think that's what you're realizing this is this is not an environment for my growth for my security for my stability Okay, anything else we need to know about the past energies? More. Okay, so you are realizing it's the environment. Whatever friend group, family, it's they're not your friends. I think you're realizing, oh my gosh. This this group is toxic. It feels like they don't like you. They're gossiping about you. With the Ace of Swords in reverse, they're, it feels like um, a lot of lies and deception. 
it, it makes sense why seeing these cards, why you're not having the growth, the security and stability, why you can't move because you're in an environment where you're not wanted, you're not cared for, you're not appreciated. And with the High Priestess card coming up, it feels like you're intuiting this. There's a lot of internal realizations going on at this time. Why your external world, your 3D world has not been working is because of you're in the wrong place. This isn't a good fit. You're not appreciated. You, For some of you, it feels like you're not even liked. And you're like realizing, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Uh, this isn't, these aren't my people. Yeah. Three of pentacles coming out sideways. Your challenge is, was the group, the people. Three of swords on the bottom of the deck. Lot three energy. It feels like it was a challenge to find your group, find your people. This is definitely not your group. And with the chariot plopping out, it looks like you moved on, moved away. The chariot has got its back to the viewer. So it feels like you moved away from these people, this group that doesn't care for you. All right, so in present time, we have the Hierophant. There's several meanings I'm tuning into. Let me see which meaning. Okay, got a story. You've got the courage, you've got the strength. There's a lot of nervousness in this energy. I think because you're in this in the strength and Queen of Wands energy. It feels like you've learned with the Queen of Wands, you have learned as you've gone. You learn as you move. You make moves, you figure out what works, what doesn't work. You're learning. You're stronger. It feels like you still have this very loving, sweet energy about you. So it 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 looks like what you've gone through in the past, being in a wrong environment, in the wrong group, the wrong family. Wrong, mm, wrong doesn't really, it, it just not resonating not harmonious you're staying in a, a group that doesn't care for you or care about you and instead of allowing what you've been through to make you hardened and bitter it looks like you're still loving you're still nurturing you're no longer seeing things the same way but there is this nervous energy here what do we need to know about the Hierophant? Someone strategizing. Tower on the bottom of the deck. Someone strategizing, planning. Someone from your past. Feels like they're... You haven't heard from them for a long time. Someone's... Someone from your past is coming forward. They have something they want to communicate to you. But they've got some type of strategy. It feels like it has something to do with the Hierophant. A lot of money. There's some... I'm perceiving the Hierophant as some type of judgment. Uh a ruling, a contract that someone's making a ruling on 
and it's it, it looks like the ruling is on a lot of money and it and I asked why the hierophants here it's someone there's some type of contract involving a lot of money and so it and it's someone from your past that's coming in what a anything else a rich girl in reverse anything else about this judgment this ruling contract feels more like a contract some type of um time time ooh it's sticking what did it stick to? Established, settled, secure, wealthy in reverse. So it's something, it, there's a timing element to this. This judgment. It feels like it's been delayed. There's some type of judgment, some type of contract that's been delayed. Some type of contract and judgment that involves a lot of money and a rich girl in reverse. There's been a delay. And there's this unsettled, unsecure, poor type of energy attached to it. It's interesting that there's a lot of money, but someone's feeling insecure about a lot of money. This judgment, this ruling has, has taken a lot of time. It feels delayed. Wow. All right. Moving on to what's hidden, we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone who doesn't learn, can't learn a new way of being. This feels like someone who's very stuck in old patterns. They don't know how to create new patterns for themselves. They don't know how to create new versions of themselves. They're just stuck in doing the exact same thing but expecting different results. So the Albert Einstein's um, definition of insanity. That's a lot. All right, there's a story coming out. Someone's taking action. Someone's taking action. Someone who hasn't learned. Someone who doesn't know how to learn a different way of being. They're taking action. They don't want to be alone. They don't have any opportunity. They don't have anything in that they're offering. So it feels like someone who's very stuck is, it feels like they're coming towards you, taking action towards you because they're feeling very alone. They're feeling abandoned. They're feeling alone. They don't have any op opportunity. They don't have anything to offer you. They might be having financial difficulties. They might want you to invest your time, your energy into them because they're feeling very hopeless. They don't want you to walk away from them. They don't want to fight because, and they're receiving karma and this is justice. Someone's down on their luck. It feels like this person coming in about this legal matter, about a ruling, a judgment, money, a rich girl in reverse. It feels like this energy, someone strategizing, someone from your past, maybe from your childhood. They're coming in after a period of confusion. Feels like this person owes you an apology, but instead of an apology, they just expect you to forgive and forget because time has passed. So this, because this person hasn't changed at all, they don't know how to change. And they're feeling very hopeless. Despair, hopeless. 
They don't want you to walk away. They want you to forget how you bullied them. You, they want you to ignore. They don't know how to take accountability for how they treated you. And they put all of the growth, all the maturity, all the forgiveness on you. They, they just refuse to change. And I feel like this karma that's coming to them, why they're experiencing life so difficult, 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 with such difficulty, <laughs> with such difficulty right now, why they're having this trouble is because they do need to look within. This reading started with you feeling insecure, unstable, a lack of resources, and you couldn't figure out how to change your environment. And so you had a calling and you woke up inside. You changed within yourself. And it looks like that made the difference that allowed you to see what was happening clearly and to recognize that this group is not for you, that they don't care for you. You don't belong here. You're not being treated kindly in this space. And so you move on from it. So you have shown yourself that you are capable of making changes in very profound and um, soulful ways inside. And it looks like that ability and willingness to see uncomfortable truths, to see things about yourself, to make changes has changed your world, changed your 3D. And it feels like someone's coming in from your past who's unable to make these type of changes that you've made within. They're wanting you to rescue them, despite the fact that it looks like they, you could have used rescuing from their behavior, from them. This is very interesting. It feels like a bully is coming in, a former bully, to um, ask for your help, to ask for you to invest in them. I, I'm getting the feeling that um, they're trying to outwit justice. It feels like letting them receive the justice, not swooping in and trying to help them because it feels like they'll just take you down energetically. I hope this makes sense. It's not out of cruelty. It feels like there's a time and a place to help people. And this person is just trying to avoid their consequences. And so, yeah, I, I, it doesn't feel, it just, I'm just keep seeing this card. It's justice. This is let justice do its work. All right. Moving on to the advice and outcome, we've got the Ace of Swords. Again, justice, truth, justice, clarity. People seeing this, it feels like in the collective, people are seeing the truth. Feels like this fall with the astrology, excuse me, the way the energies are that it's a lot of revealing of truths, maybe uncomfortable truths for people. I, I'm not in worry for you at all in this justice and truth energy because it looks like you are someone who's willing to go within to make changes. You're willing to have uncomfortable truths about yourself so you can make the changes. I'm hearing radical changes. Anything else we need to know about the advice? I think people, it feels like this person quite possibly is in a lot of grief and you're guarded against them. Somehow this person thinks that, that it's your job to, to make them feel better. 
So it feels like this person might turn on you, like that you're so cruel that you won't help them. But this person has, has abused, bullied, hurt you, felt very comfortable in the past treating you poorly. So they don't want to address any of their behaviors. They don't take accountability that there's a reason why you're behaving the way you're behaving that is directly related to how they've treated you. They feel very like, what? They're just in, they're overwhelmed in their emotions. It feels like they're acting out. And actually, it feels like that's what this person likes doing. This person likes getting close to you, you letting them in, you thinking we're fixing something, we're healing this relationship. It feels like you really want to have a close relationship to this person. It feels like it's a core wound that you do not have a healthy relationship with this person. But this person is a bully. This person when they're feeling crappy, they bully you. They emotionally do what they do and make you miserable so they can feel better. It looks like they're wanting to like wave the white flag and come in and then as you if you let them in, then they'll just mess mess you up, try to get you overwhelmed feels like this that's what this person does wounds you this person loves wounding you to make themselves it's to they get a dopamine hit it makes them feel better to make you hurt and wow wow okay The thing is, this person comes in, wants to come in and wound you and hurt you so they can feel better. But what what's really happening, what I'm seeing is that you are uh, being invested in, someone's investing in you, someone, you're receiving blessings, a lot of abundance. It feels, shocking how much abundance the tower wow temperance you've waited for this you've waited for this for a long long time this turnaround feels like in the past maybe you were in this group this family that was toxic for a long time maybe your whole life it feels like you've been so patient you've been waiting for this justice you've been waiting for the truth you've been waiting for this for so long this is long awaited it still feels like shocking so like in the best kind of way that things are rebalancing for you it doesn't feel like this person who's trying to get into your energy because they're having bad luck and you're having your in the flow very fortunate very abundant it doesn't feel like they can affect you it doesn't feel like um it it doesn't feel that their energy and anything that they try has any effect on you yeah world card you've ended this cycle with this person You've learned everything that you've needed to learn from the painful lessons that you've had with this person. And you're ending this cycle with a lot of achievements and accomplishments. Ending this cycle with this person, with this in this type of energy, death, death of establishment. It feels like that has been the established way of being, maybe that you've experienced a lot of this lifetime a lot of injustice, a lot of bullying, a lot of poor treatment, a lot of people closest to you wounding you, 
behind closed doors. And so it looks like with the world card and the death card, it feels very, we're getting very clear message. It's ended. It's done. You've learned the lessons. You've got the accomplishments. It's over. It's over. That, that old way of being, maybe victim, victimized, victim mentality, someone taking advantage of you, it's done. So, way to go. And it's done not because of some something that you did out here. It started with your willingness to go within and change from the inside out. It's so empowering what you've done, what you've been able to accomplish, how you've learned how to feed yourself, fill yourself, and no longer give to people who are abusive to you, that don't care for you. So, wow. All right, that's your reading. I hope that was helpful. Have a great day. Bye.